everybody, it's uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. It is, I almost thought it was Friday. I had Friday on there for a second because lost track of days. Today's topic is really cool and it's something I've been always fascinated. I'm always fascinated by tornadoes and vortex, but dust devils are really, really cool types of vortices that we see on warm, dry, sunny days. Sometimes they're made up of dust. Sometimes they're made up of hay, leaves, trash. Just depends on what's around, but these could be quite powerful at times. And you've probably seen videos of tents or even bouncy houses getting picked up by these. But today, forecaster Larry Sprinkle is going to talk about dust devils, which is a really cool topic. In today's edition, number 47 of WCNC Weather School. Enjoy. Our subject today, well, maybe you've seen one of these. Maybe you haven't. Maybe if you saw one, you thought it was a tornado. It's not a tornado. It is a dust devil. Our subject today is all about dust devils. And, you know, they're really interesting to see. We don't see many of them here in our area. So let's talk about how these, these dust devils form. You, you normally see these out west in areas like Arizona and uh, New Mexico, the deserts of California. And on rare occasions, once again, um, you can see them here. People actually think they're tornadoes, but they really aren't. How do they form? Well, hot air near the ground rises quickly through a pocket of cooler air above. Now, that air begins to rotate and starts to move across the land below. And as that air cools, when it rises, it eventually goes down to the base and expands out. Then more hot air shoots up that column to replace the lost air. And the height can range from six or eight feet to more than 3,000 feet tall. That's a big one right there. Uh, most of the time they are harmless, but occasionally they can cause damage to property and even people have been hurt. Once again, you normally see these out west. Very rarely do you see those here in the Carolinas. Take a look at this one right here. This is really fascinating how it forms. Remember, uh, they spin around. They pick up the color of whatever is uh, the land below them. Now, this is a bit darker right here. This one actually looks more like a tornado. It's not a tornado. They form in the hot sun during the late morning or early afternoon hours. These whirlwind speeds very seldom are over 60 miles an hour. They differ from tornadoes in that they are not associated with a thunderstorm or any cloud, and they're usually very weak. Look at that right there. Pretty interesting as you take a look at a dust devil. Dust devils can even be on Mars. Yes, this is this is a picture of a dust devil uh, that was taken back in 2012 from a reconnaissance orbiter that actually saw a dust devil on Mars. And they are very common on Mars. Very common out there. And, you know, maybe you'll have a chance to see one at some time. We point one out right there as this one starts off in the distance and gets closer and closer. I mean, yeah, it's kind of scary to look at that. You wouldn't want to get caught up in all that dust. Yet, close your eyes as it moves through and wow there it goes the dust devil is gone dust devils i'm larry sprinkle see you next time dust devils yeah really cool there's that video again it's pretty amazing to watch these um i love seeing these sometimes and i've gotten great videos and when we get really dry sunny days we'll see these across the area if you see these on the ground uh, in the fall, sometimes they have leaves or trash in them as well. Something we do see occasionally, but not all the time, as Larry mentioned, often out west. Now, tomorrow's topic is pretty cool. Um, tomorrow's topic, we're actually going to be talking about um, what is the most memorable weather event that each one of us have covered. So we'll have all of us in on that one talking about that. And again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to get everybody to kind of check back in um, and look at those. Weather school. Have a great Thursday. It's going to be near 80 degrees today, low 80s tomorrow. Make sure you get outside, look up, enjoy the beautiful weather that we're having over the next.